Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jesse, and today I'm gonna check out Polish Hill. But before I do that, I'm going to have a kielbasa and sauerkraut, a Polish sandwich. All right, let me give you the quick Wikipedia tour because that's where I got my information. Wikipedia and niche.com, which is a, uh, a site that uh, kind of talks about neighborhoods. Anyway, um, so Polish Hill, which is uh, right up from the Strip District, it was uh, populated by, well, I guess Polish, mostly immigrants in the middle of the 18th century. And, uh, you know, they were steel workers, uh, immigrants coming for uh, good paying jobs that didn't take uh, necessarily fluency in English. And then, and again, according to Wikipedia, in uh, maybe 1950s, this neighborhood experienced a kind of um, emptying out and a uh, little bit of white flight as, um, you know, roads and highways around the city were making it easier to get around and people, I guess, got off the hill, found other places to, to live which led to the next wave of immigrants. And apparently for the last uh, 70 years, immigrants from all over have been settling in this tiny little neighborhood. The reason I wanted to come up here though, is that uh, I was out walking with my friend yesterday and she said, uh, you ought to check out Polish Hill. She said she lived there a lifetime ago and it was just a very cool, funky, artistic, uh, kind of a punky, punk rock type of place. She loved it. I don't know what what would be available um, within my price range or not. Haven't really checked. I don't really, really remember seeing much from Polish Hill, but I'll definitely uh, check it out more. There's only one comment on niche.com, but, but it's a doozy, it's a good one. It said that Polish Hill has the best gritty neighborhood feel of any place he's ever been. People aren't pretentious or nosy and everyone in the community is willing to help each other. It goes on and uh, he likes the artistic nature of the community. A lot of uh, punk rock musicians and artists giving it a really authentic feel. And both the commenter and more importantly, my friend mentioned Gooskies. Great dive bar, great punk rock dive bar. I'll have to check it out, but it's only 12.45 right after lunch. I, I don't think it's happening. Uh, let's just take a walk. Could I live here? Hell yeah. I just, um, I have a feeling it's out of my price range. And if there's even any uh, places available. Anybody know? What street is this? That's on 
walking with uh, no idea of where I'm going. Let me tell you what I did earlier today. I got my um, faculty ID card from Pitt. Very exciting. This week and next week, uh, my life is kind of settled into three, maybe four buckets. The first is uh, looking for places to buy, looking for houses, looking at neighborhoods. The second is preparing for my classes. This is the 15th, August 15th. Classes begin August 28th. And starting at the end of this week and all next week, I've got all kinds of um, meetings and trainings and workshops and all kinds of stuff. So that would be a second bucket. A third bucket would be, uh, you know, related to the first one, just uh, trying to settle into Pittsburgh. I've been here about five days now, just trying to get to know the ins and outs, where the stores are, where the bad routes are for travel, where the good routes are. And finally, I got to get my steps in. It's not that difficult in this kind of weather and without having classes yet to get my steps in. I've been doing, a, you know, 10 to 20,000 a day, but I'm a little worried when I actually have classes and papers to mark. I've said this before, but a job can really get in the way of your steps. Hmm. Can I grade papers while walking? When you see a fork in the road, take it. This is the first place I've seen that is up for sale. Let me um, let me check it out. It's kind of like an attached, separate house. Attached, separate. Oh, I get it. This is the back of the house. Let's go around to the front. Let me get to that view in a moment. I will not be deterred going to the front of the house. Let's see what Zillow has to say about it. It is 2,000 square feet, two bedrooms and three bathrooms, and it has a Zillow estimate of, drum roll please, 422,000, which is what? Almost 200,000 more than I am uh, looking to pay. I guess, I guess a lot of it is the view. Let's, let's go take a look. View, location, location and view. And of course, 2,000 square feet, but only two bedrooms. Anyway, let's go take a look at the view. I think this is a good time to end this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. 
If you like this video, please press the like button. If you have any comments, corrections, suggestions, drop a comment below. And finally, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Was a little startled. Okay, now I am going to say goodbye. Take care, everyone. Till next time.